At any given moment, any teacher in the building is able to see which students should be in the hallway. So whether you are on hall duty or you are simply walking the hall um, during your prep period or your lunch period, or you're in your classroom and you see a student in the hallway, you should know whether or not that student is where they're supposed to be. Um, to access that information from your dashboard, you have your My Passes, but you also have the ability to see All Passes. When you click All Passes, this will show you all of the students that are in the building at that particular time, um, walking through the halls, and where they are headed. So if, for example, you see this student, you see where they're supposed to go, uh, and you see who sent them, if they are in an area that is not anywhere close to this location, you can recommend that they move on their way to where they're supposed to be um, or contact administration if necessary, but you know where they are coming from and where they are supposed to be headed. It also gives you the ability to contact that teacher if you so choose to tell them that you found them in a certain area, um, but you have all of that information at your disposal live. Once that pass has ended, you no longer have access to that information. Um, so just be aware of that, that unless you are associated with a pass, once it has ended and that student is no longer in the hall, you no longer have access to that information. Um, the other piece you have access to when students are in the hall is seeing how many passes that particular student has had so far today. Um, so you can click that little circle, you can see how many times they've been out, um, and it's related to today's history. Now, as a teacher, you could click in this comments area and you could leave a comment. That comment would then be visible to the teacher that provided the pass. It would also be visible to administration. And that comment is also visible on the student's end on the actual pass. Uh, that may be a positive or a negative, but it could be, um, it could be made clear that that student was caught. Um, there is not a way currently to turn that functionality off for the comments to be visible to the student, so just be aware of that, that if you are leaving a comment, that comment will be visible to the student, including with your name. So it may make more sense if you wanted to reach out to someone about the student uh, to do it via email rather than directly on the comments of the past, unless you want that information to be visible to the student.